Good morning, oil changing day and uh, brand new for me. Uh, probably the biggest shock was oil filters. Um, I mean, I'm used to oil filters being six, seven dollars, no, 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Uh, I think you can get them off of Amazon, get them a little cheaper, or you can go ahead and negotiate with your local parts store. I'd rather see you do that. Anyway, um, some of the interesting things about the Tiffin Coach Cummings 380 diesel, I'm not sure exactly. It gave me three different capacities of oil. So I've got plenty of oil. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and put in 20 quarts and we'll take a reading on it and go from there. Um, you know, could be up to 26 quarts. So anyway, I'm gonna start. Uh, I gotta go underneath, pull out an oil plug. Uh, I've warmed the engine up for about five minutes. Uh, I didn't want it scolding hot, but I do want it loosened up a bit so it'll drain nicely. And that's where we're at. So under the coach we go. Alrighty, I'm waiting for the oil to drip out a little bit more. Then I'll probably stick the plug back in it and then I'm going to slide my drain pan underneath the oil filter and take it out next. So. Alright, we're in the middle of uh, Pardon the, uh, the weather, but we're in the middle of a of spring showers, North Carolina style, which means we've had about an inch and a half of rain in the last 20 minutes. Anyway, new filter. Uh, Don's going to post a couple of pictures of the old filter. Guys, when you stick it on, hand tight, hand tight, hand tight. I don't know what somebody had tightened it up with, but uh, uh, you should see the creases in the filter on the one that we took off. But anyway... Before we stick this thing on, what we do need to do is fill it up. Because this filter sits 100% above the oil pan, what you don't want is the system to start up and having to run dry air through, pushing dry air past your motor. So you really need to fill this up with oil first. So we're gonna shut the camera off because what we have to do is fill it up with oil. I'm gonna crawl underneath, my wife is gonna pass it to me, and hopefully I will screw it in place and we'll be happy. Alrighty, so there's our new filter. Um, if you look up there towards the top, you can see a little bit of oil that has squeezed out of the gasket. I oiled the gasket before I uh, put it up in there. Um, hand tight, really. I mean, what I did is I took it up to where it, it met uh, and then did another quarter turn. Uh, I'm going to check it the first time we put fuel. In fact, I'll probably check it again today just to make sure nothing's dripping off the bottom. Uh, also, oil plug, oil plug right there, back in. Uh, it was cleaned and tightened up as well. Also, something you don't need to reef on. I used a 3 8 uh, In fact, the Tiffin, uh, the Cummings there has a, I don't know if I'm getting it. I'm underneath the car. Anyway, basically your 3 8 ratchet fits right in the end of it. You don't even need a wrench. You just need the ratchet. So, back to it. Uh, be kind uh, to the next person that does the oil change. Don't reef that filter on. Put it on there nice and easy and away you go. So, all right, we're going to go out and put some oil in this thing and uh, get her back up and running. See, people don't realize that when they originally started, it was Cummings, but uh, uh, they just didn't like the G, so they dropped it. But uh, I'm old school, so it is Cummings still. Okay, so um, we will list below the uh, pieces of equipment that he's using. It's not that many items. And um, so we're about to fill it up with oil, brand new oil. There it is right to there. So it's still showing. It could hold another quart or two. Okay. So we're going to start it up and see where it's at. 